Sage Accounts Production Software Overview. This short video is going to give you an overview of Sage Accounts Production, one of our final accounts options for accountants in practice and industry. By the end of the video, you should be able to understand why an accountant would want or need to purchase Sage Accounts Production, and you'll also have a good idea of the workflow within the software. So, why would an accountant need to use accounts production software? Firstly, it will connect him with his clients, especially if they're using Sage 2. It's going to free up an accountant's time and maximise the efficiency of this time. The reduced requirement for rekeying will guarantee accuracy. The accountant can rest assured that our software is always compliant. And Sage Accounts Production doesn't just allow an accountant to prepare and submit final accounts, it also offers more value-add services, which we'll take a look at during the video. There are also several strong reasons why an accountant would want to choose Sage. Firstly, we're really well established, we've just celebrated 30 years in the business. Within the accountants division there are over 200 experts, including qualified accountants and compliance specialists. Currently, almost 17,000 accountants in the UK have at least one piece of active Sage software. That's almost 70% of the total number of accountancy practices registered in the UK. Also, one in three of all VAT registered UK businesses use Sage software. And we're a very trusted brand. We're also renowned for offering award winning, excellent customer support. Another bonus is our great working relationship with Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs. They govern all legislation changes in the UK and our relationship with them means that we're always one step ahead of the game when it comes to compliance. Our online filing rate is the best in the business and we also provide feedback to HMRC based on changes our accountants have suggested. So who is Sage Accounts Production for? Well, since it deals with the final accounts of sole traders, partnerships and limited companies, it's for any accountant in practice or industry who offers a final account service to these types of clients. But remember, there's also a charities and a pensions module available at an extra charge. An accountant can follow a simple workflow in the software that makes perfect sense to him as it's how he would do things in a manual setting. Let's take a look at this, soft, at this workflow in the software now. We know that Sage Accounts Production enables an accountant to manage his client's accounts with ease and also provides a comprehensive set of features that meet all statutory accountancy requirements. To start, let's take a look at how easy it is to set up a new client. This is really simple and can be done just by clicking on the Clients button, pressing Add and then filling in the steps. So you choose a client code, a name, a year end date and the accountant can base his new client on an existing master client. As you can see here we've got the sole trader, partnership and limited company masters. These are ready provided in the software and by using a master the accountant can use a prepared set of nominal codes and pages which saves him time and effort increasing his efficiency. So we'll pretend we've set up a new client but instead let's choose one we prepared earlier. So once an accountant has set up his new client, he'd need to enter accounts data for that client. The quickest way to do this is to import it so that it doesn't have to be entered manually. This also reduces the need for rekeying data. One of the key features of Sage Accounts Production is the ability to import data from Sage 50 and Instant Accounts. You do this via Tools, Product Links, Sage 50, Instant Accounts. As you can see, the accountant can choose to import the trial balance information only, or alternatively, a full list of all transactions made. As you can see, the import wizard that comes up makes the process really easy. You can see the list of steps down the left hand side. Alternatively, the accountant can import from Excel. Tools, 
we'll have to do that in an in a client that's already open sorry so I'll just open one again so to recap to import from Excel you go to tools import and import nominals from CSV file the accountant will have already saved this client data in Excel as a CSV file now he simply follows the steps of the wizard and as he goes he'll map the columns of the Excel file to the data that he's produced. This is also really simple. Once the data has been imported or entered manually it's really simple to view a client's trial balance. In Sage Accounts Production there are two types. There's the simple trial balance and the formatted trial balance. They're also available here. On the simple trial balance, which we'll take a look at, you can double click into figures to see where they came from. This is called drilling down and is a great feature of this software. OK, so now let's have a look at how journal adjustments are made. A journal is basically an adjustment that an accountant will make on a client's accounts if, for example, there have been any errors or omissions in the normal course of events. So to make an adjustment, the accountant will click on the journals button here or here and he'll then usually use the multiple entry form so let's add a sale adjustment so we'll choose sales type A so sale of wine for example which will put a credit of £750 into the credit column we then need to make a corresponding entry for the debit column. So we'll search for the bank current account. There it is. So we'll put £750 into the debit column. So we're now happy with that adjustment. So we'll save it. Once the accountant has made any necessary journal adjustments, the next stage of the workflow is to draft the profit and loss and balance sheet reports that he'll take to the client for consultation and sign off. A really simple process again, as these can be accessed via the Pages button. As you can see, Sage Accounts Production includes a set of standard accounts pages, which can be edited by the accountant. He can also add his own if he'd like. Although when using the legacy software to submit IXBRL accounts, this isn't to be advised. Once any final adjustments have been made following consultation with the client, the accountant is now ready to draw up the final set of accounts. In our legacy software, so in other words in version 6.3, all legislative information required about the company will be entered via this database icon and the text and actual pages in the final accounts will depend upon the options selected in here. Once Sage Financial Statements is introduced however this will be done via the new module. So to produce the final set of accounts in IXBRL format in version 6.3 of Sage Accounts Production the accountant will again go into Pages, then he'll click Selection. He'll choose the set of accounts he wants, in this case IXBRL Members Accounts, then he'll click the IXBRL button. This opens an easy to follow three stage wizard which guides the accountant through the process. It's really simple and as you can see it won't allow the accountant to submit until there are no errors. So if we go on to next here, we'll be presented with a list of the errors and a list of the reasons that IXBRL accounts cannot be produced at this time. The accountant can then print these errors, adjust them, make any changes and then go back in to generate again. In version 7 of Sage Accounts Production, the accountant will be using the Sage Financial Statements module to prepare and submit the final set of accounts, starting with UK GAP's single limited companies. This will be covered in another e-learning module. 
So let's assume we've produced the IXBRL accounts. Once this has been done, the accountant will more than likely want to export his accounts data into a tax application so that he can work on the taxation process of the workflow. This is, again, a really simple process. The accountant will just go to Tools, Export, Tax Export, and select the correct tax option. So if he's exporting to Sage Corporation Tax, for example, we'll see how easy the integration is. We just click Export to proceed, and in no time at all, we will be presented with the Link Export Wizard. So we'll just follow this wizard, we'll create a new client, and as you can see, when we click Finish, we'll be taken to log in to Sage Corporation Tax. So all of the data is taken from Sage Accounts Production through to Sage Corporation Tax, and you can see that all of the schedules are being populated with information. As you can see, the integration is really fantastic. So let's recap the key features we've seen in the software. Firstly, the compliance. The software is UK GAP compliant and these requirements are updated regularly. We've seen the seamless integration with Sage 50, instant accounts and even third-party accounting software packages. We can import data from existing Microsoft Excel records. The easy-to-use editing and formatting tool enables the accountant to change the presentation of the accounts. Remember though that Sage Financial Statements will cover this need in the future. Reports are customizable. There's fantastic drill-down capability and full multi-user capability too. Finally, the integration with other Sage Practice software, especially our taxation products. So what are the benefits of these specific features for an accountant in practice? Well, regular updates will give the accountant peace of mind that the accounts that are produced are fully compliant. There's very little rekeying of data required this saves time and improves accuracy. The reports produced are reliable and accurate. It's really simple to change the presentation of accounts for each client. Remember again though that Sage Financial Statements will be used in the future for this. The software is adaptable to meet the needs of individual practices and clients. The drill down functionality we've seen means that problems or errors are identified with ease and unauthorised access to certain parts of the software can be prevented. This gives the clients peace of mind. Finally, the software can be used in a standalone or a network environment. So, hopefully watching this short e-learning video has now provided you with an understanding of the reasons why an accountant would want to purchase Sage Accounts Production. And you'll also now have a good understanding of what the different stages of the workflow look like in the software. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact the L&D sales team.